You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're here with me, Expediting America. to the right and then it's going to be like right about here okay you'll see yellow steps on the side going up into it and then you'll have to see a roll down door okay and that's where you're going thank you very much my friend you have a good rest of your day seven o'clock will be here before you know it i know <laughs> Excuse me. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. This is just a little place. Okay. This is shipping. What you got? I just got one pallet, one box. Yeah. I guess, I guess it's a part. Some type of part. Uh, okay. uh, sign this, okay. you, sign? If you can just sign and print your name anywhere. Okay. Uh, is this for me? Yeah, there's one on the back for you. So let's break it down. 596 total miles. The job paid 550. My dispatcher gets 14% for booking the loads, dealing with brokers and all that fun stuff. $83 in gas. These are 390 for this trip. We got one more to go, so stay tuned for that one. So a little dolo. But wait. Bubba Joe! Squirrel! <laughs> Got him. So I was just laying here, as you can see. I'm five foot eleven and I still got about an inch till I hit the wall there. So sometimes I do gotta sleep with my, my legs folded in or whatever. But anyways, that's besides the point. Today's Sunday. I was just chilling. We watched church, went to the gym, got breakfast, went for a walk, all that good stuff. And it's time to turn off the Mr. Buddy heater. 
let that cool down. How many of this is it? Two? Oh, just one? Cool. Would it be too much to ask you to push it just a little bit more forward? No, I can take care of it. You tell me when to stop. Just a little bit more, that's cool. I just like it over the wheels a little bit better. That's cool. Thank you. Yep. You guys in here on a Sunday, huh? They must need this, or? Yeah, they screwed up and they begged us to come in. So I love screw ups. Here we are. Hey, <laughs> listen, it's a Sunday shorty for me, I love it. What do you guys make here? Like some type of bracket? Uh, we make all, uh, all the chassis parts for their vehicles. Oh, that's cool. Wheel wells, things like that. Nice. Well, thank you guys for the work. Have a great day. Nothing like working on a Sunday, baby. I love it. There we go. Car parts for Honda. That's my new closet. Love a job there. got a load on a Sunday. I'm gonna call it the Sunday Shorty, which is really good, huh, Bubba? That's why you're like so excited. We're getting some gas here at the racetrack. We got 10 cents off thanks to the Upside app per gallon. Um, didn't expect this trip at all. It's Sunday. You usually don't get loads on Sundays. Every now and then you do. So it's super sweet when you do get one. I'm gonna call this the Sunday Shorty. We had 60 miles of deadhead from where I was in uh, Albertville. Alabama all the way to Huntsville about 60 miles of deadhead there and then from Huntsville to Lincoln Alabama we got another 123 miles I think so and I thought the week was over so 47 bucks in gas it's not gonna take that much so I thought the week was over I went ahead and I totaled everything you can even see I put the, the totals down here gross and net but we got to change that now because we got another load so You know, it's a good, good week. Good week to start off. It wasn't a crazy week, no big trips. Uh, the, the longest trip we had was 750 miles. Um, but I'm used to like 2,000 miles, 1,500 miles. I like those days where you can do 1,000 miles a day, drive for 16, 17 hours, you know, and just kill it, just murder it, you know? I got done here 15 gallons of gas at 10 cents a gallon, so it's $1.50 back. I'll take it. it. Doesn't sound like much, but it adds up, guys. It's been a great week. I love these seat belts. Our orange seat belts are pretty dope. It's been a great week, though. Let's keep it going. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm probably gonna stop in Birmingham just to get a quick bite to eat. And yeah, that's my day today. Sunday shorty. Now that we're all fueled up. Let's talk about the rate today. 
We're over two dollars a mile. I know that because it's under under two hundred miles. It's paying four hundred bucks. That's easy math. And uh, is that typical for expediting? If you're doing shorter trips, yes. Shorter trips, you can usually get more per mile. Usually, because they take you know most of your day up. So sometimes you can squeeze more than one in if if you're lucky. Some I know a few guys that do that. Um, but it's not every day. It's not like every day like that. And, um, you know, anything over, I say 500 miles or more, your rates start to go down to about a dollar right now. I mean, it's slim pickings. There's people taking rates for 60 cents a mile for some trips. Uh, that's been the case for the past month or so. A lot of, uh, the things we've been booking have been covered last minute, which means they got someone else to take it for a cheaper rate. And the lowest that I've ever gone lately has been about 80 cents a mile. Just to get out of like hairy situations and bad areas, I'll go that low. Um, but I really try to stay above that. It's good to know your cost per mile, which I'm going to do a video about how to calculate that for yourself. Um, my cost per mile is pretty low, about 50 cents altogether, and that's taking out 10%. You know, ten cents a mile for for my expenses and stuff like that every month. So, um, but we'll go over that in another video. As for now, we're gonna head to uh, Birmingham. Super Bowl starts in about thirty minutes. I'm gonna try to be there in about an hour and uh, find a place to eat, some type of wing house of some sort, and watch the Super Bowl. This uh, load right here doesn't have to be delivered until 5.30 a.m. tomorrow, so there's really no rush. We're gonna take our time and uh, we're gonna take, <laughs> sorry, Bubba Joe is looking at me funny. We're gonna take our time and we're gonna get there tomorrow morning sometime, no rush. I mean, it's probably 30 minutes, 45 minutes from Birmingham. So we'll get there tonight. But it's a good rate. Definitely didn't expect it. I'm excited. Ready to put it down to my, my log book. To keep track of everything that we're doing out here on the road. I'm definitely taking it a lot more serious now that I'm an owner-operator. Uh, these are things I should have been done, doing as a driver. A, to give you guys better information. And B, to give myself better information. Right, Bubba? He's like, who are you talking to? Oh, those people again. <laughs> But yeah, it's a blessed day. I just had deja vu, actually. So, if you ever uh, in doubt about yourself and your path and your capabilities, and you feel like giving up, or you feel like you know you're never gonna make it there, keep pushing, keep going. You're gonna make it. I believe in you if you don't believe in you, but you gotta believe in you first. Believe in God first, actually. Then, then believe in yourself. Do the work. <laughs> I know, I said it's easy, but there's a few steps you got to do. Do the work and then it'll come. All those three things and you'll be set. We made it with 15 minutes to spare. Went to bed last night, slept for six, seven hours. Been a good week on sleep. But we're here at the Honda plant in Lincoln, Alabama. 5.30 delivery. 5.30 a.m. for those who don't know. Stopped at uh, Love's last night. Stayed in the parking lot. How you doing? I got a dog. <laughs> Look, here I am, yo. What is his name? His name's Bubba Joe. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Alright, they told me eighteen hundred on the drive. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's 200 Homer Road today. 
That's so funny. We confirmed it like nine times. Okay. You're probably right. I mean, they tell me the wrong stuff all the time, so. He's like, y'all got treats? You need to bring some, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you. You're Bubba, you got to drive the rest of the way, okay? Back up. You got to stay here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Back up. Back. Back. Thank you. Thank you. You're All right. So I'm going to hit up dispatch. Let them know we got to go to a different address. And uh, see if we can get a little bit of extra money. I'm pretty sure I knew this was gonna happen because last time I was here, they made me take it to a different uh, place to hold all their freight and stuff like that, a different warehouse. So I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, let's try this again. Let's do it again. Second time is a charm sometimes. Company you're driving for, sir? Yeah, he's a good dog. He's a, he's a road dog. Vehicle number? One. And your first name? Brandon. Alright, sir. About halfway up here, right before you get to where that shipping container is, just okay. take a cut through to the left and back to the left. Office over here that says North Control on it. Just head in there and get y'all set up. Give them about 10 minutes or so because they open up at 6. No problem, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Have a great day. Back up, bye bye. Back up. Come on. Back, 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 back it out. Smells like marijuana. Good morning. Good morning. Is this yours? That's mine, about to be yours now. <laughs> Is that yours? This is my copy. I need to sign. Oh, there you go. That's right. All right, we got our signature. There she is. Oh, look at that sunshine. Woo! Beautiful day. There she is. Forgot to close this thing last night. Wonder why I got so cold in here. There we go. I gotta get the fuse here. If you guys know anything about these, uh, it's called a star vent, I think it is. But it needs a fuse here, and I can't find the fuse anywhere online or nothing. So, might just have to replace the whole fan. I don't know. You guys let me know. Just one pallet. Uh, you got something I pull it up with? Yeah, we got something. All right, let's break down the numbers for this Sunday shorty and find out what I made at the end of week one as the owner operator when it was all said and done. This job had 183 total miles with deadhead paying 400 bucks. Dispatch gets their 14% which came out to 
I spent 40 in gas, put two dubs in the gas tank, leaves us with 297. But wait, there's more. Because there was a messed up on the address on the BOL, they gave me an extra 50 bucks, which brings us to 347 for this trip. Now, when you take the last trip and this trip into account and add it into my weekly numbers, I did $24.97 gross and took home $1,819. Now, for those of you who don't know, we have the official Road Dog Clothing Company coming out here soon. I'm placing the first order of shirts at the end of this week. So if you want to help support the channel and you like the shirt on the screen here, please comment below how many you'd like and of what sizes so I can gauge the first order. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Woo, let's get in the van. Beautiful day, let's do it guys. <laughs>